Amen, 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 and amen. Praise the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Today is a very good and pleasant day that the Lord has made. And I declare over your lives, your family, and everything that concerns you that today you will rejoice, you will be glad, you will be fruitful. The mighty hand of God will rest upon you. The wind of favor will blow in your direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to especially welcome you to today's edition of Morning Dew Prayers as we pray concerning week three of this new year, 2024, our year of all-round dominion. I'm declaring over your life that as God has declared that he has made all things in your favor and he has put all things under your feet, you shall begin to walk in all-round dominion. In every area of your life, every facet of your life, you shall no longer be oppressed. You will no longer live in bondage. You will no longer be deprived. The mighty hand of God will carry you, elevate you, uphold you, and cause you to shine forth as light in all that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Today, we are going to be praying. Amen. So I invite you to join us in prayers. And as you pray this morning, God will answer to all your needs. You will be satisfied. You will lack nothing good in the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we are on the ongoing 50 days of fasting. And we just use those prayer points and add a few. Amen. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. And today is Sunday the 14th of January, and we are praying for our children. Psalm 127, verses 3 to 5. Psalm 127, verses 3 to 5. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Say, so like arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with your enemies in the gate. I declare over your life that the children that God has given to you will bring glory to you, to your family, to the world at large. And everything called shame will not be mentioned concerning you, your home, your children, in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare this morning that everyone trusting God for children, the fruit of the womb, because we are praying for children this morning, God will answer your own specific prayer to give you that child you are looking for, whether it's a boy or a girl or it's twins or triplets or whatever you want. God will answer to you even today in the mighty name of Jesus. So I invite you to join us as we pray. Beloved children, I heritage from the Lord. They are our future. Amen. God has given us blessings through the children that he has gifted us as heritage, as custodians of these great blessings. A child is able to bring joy to a family, is able to bring joy to his neighbors, is able to bring joy to the community. Amen. And even to the nation. And I pray your child and your children will bring joy to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning, join us as we pray for all our children, whether you are a parent or you are a guardian or you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb because God will answer all the prayers even today in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for the good and perfect gifts that you have given unto us, the children. Amen. You have blessed us with fruits of the womb. Amen. You have given us Children, to wipe away every form of shame. I thank you this morning. We, your children, we are saying thank you for the gift of children that you have given us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we are also thanking you for the priceless gift of children in our families. Lord God, thank you. Thank you because they are indeed a heritage. Lord, we return all glory to you. We are grateful. Thank you, O oh God, for wiping away tears from many of our homes by blessing us with children. To you be the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will not allow any forces of darkness harm our children in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, every hand of the wicked that are planning or they are even already resting on any of our children, any children mentioned, any on, in, we're praying, Lord God, for all families represented, all our children, Lord, we pray that every force of darkness will not harm them, it will not come near them, because your shield will be round about them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, all our children shall be mighty vessels in your hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, my Father, my God, that we parents, guardians, people that are caring for these children, you will give us a heart of commitment and of wisdom to raise these children in a godly way in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Proverbs 22 verse 6, that says, train up a child and when he grows, he will not depart from that way. Father, give us wisdom. Give us a heart of commitment. Give us the ability to raise these children in a godly way in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking, my Father, my God, that every hindrance that stands against the way of our children climbing to the very top, Lord God, you will uproot in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, uproot it. Every tree that is not planted. Lord God, anything that you do not plant in the life of our children, any hindrance standing on their way to success, to prosperity, to greatness, Father, Lord God, by the mighty name of Jesus, let all of such hindrance be uprooted in the name of Jesus. We pray, my Lord and my God, that you destroy the snare of the wicked. Amen. Designed to trap our children in the mighty name of Jesus. All of such is destroyed. Whether it be visible, whether it be invisible, whether it be physical, whether it be spiritual. Every snare of the wicked designed to trap our children. Lord, today, by the mighty name of Jesus, all of such be destroyed in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, we command every evil plantation, Lord God, upon the lives of our children, let them be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Anything that was not planted by God that is standing in their lives, whether it be their academics, in their health, in their decision-making, Lord, in their behavior, their character, Father, all of such, let it be uprooted, even right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise, O Lord, and do a new thing in the lives of all our children, even in this year, 2024. Let your wind of favor blow towards our children. Let something new, something glorious, something spectacular begin to manifest in their lives, their academics, in all that they do, in the mighty name of Jesus. Their relationships, Father, Lord God, do something new in the life of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you terminate every form of parental evil transfer in the lives of our children. Things that are not good that has been happening from generation to generation in families, moving from grandfather to father, Lord God, coming down to children, all of such evil parental transfer. Lord God, by your standard, Father, stop the flow of evil transfer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Terminate all of such in the lives of all our children, in all families represented, even right now, this very hour, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, we decree that our children will not depart from the commandments of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that we cause them to comply with the will and purpose of God, Father, help them to obey in the name of Jesus. Civilization will not take them away from your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that knowledge and modernization and exposure whatsoever will not take any of our children away from your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be arrows in your hands. They will be obedient to you. 
they will be established and rooted in the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, let all our children possess the gates of their enemies in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be unstoppable. Cause them to be the best. Cause them to shine as light. Cause them to have all-round dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command every spirit of laziness to get out of the lives of all our children, even now, this season, this very month, now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of procrastination, laziness, wrong attitude, disobedience, stubbornness, difficulties. Lord God, let all of such get out of the lives of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, let the joy of salvation enter the lives of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cause them to love you, cause them to serve you, cause them to obey you. Cause them, O oh Lord God, to do greater works than even their parents to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, let your wind of favor blow in favor of our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the wind of favor, Lord, blow concerning our churches in the mighty name of Jesus. And of course, let your wind of favor blow concerning our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare as we enter this new week, the third week in this new year, 2024, Father, you will go ahead of us. You will make all our ways to be perfected. Everything crooked makes straight. Everything difficult make it easy. Everything confusing give us clarity. Every decision we're making, let us make the right decisions. Cause everything to work together in our favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever we go this week, let your presence not depart from us. The news that we cause us to rejoice, good news, let it come to our hearing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every angel on assignment that you have released from the heavens, let them locate us, do our bidding, cause all things to work in our favor, even this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as we wait on you in this season of fasting, every bound of wickedness will be broken. Every difficulty will become easy. Every body will be lifted. Everything that the enemy has planted will be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your lives that this season, you will lack nothing good. In the name of Jesus, God will show himself strong on your behalf. All that you set out to accomplish this year, whether it be your resolutions, whether it be in projects, whether it be in uh, family decisions, Lord God, I commit all of such into your able hands and I ask that you breathe your life upon it in the name of Jesus. You will make all things to work in our favor such that we will triumph above the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray that today you will cause our joy to be full and this year, 2024, we shall walk in all round dominion and we shall experience good success in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As you step out, you are protected. The mark of Jesus is upon you. The favor of God is upon you. The grace of God multiplies upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will protect you. Angels are with you, and you will win. You will triumph and it will be said concerning you that indeed you are unstoppable. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Have a very glorious Sunday. The Lord bless you. Shalom.